celebrity <laughs> chef Mark Kalick. The one, the only, Chef Mark. Our buddy, Chef Mark Kalick. We have celebrity chef Mark Kalick. Hi everyone, this is Chef Mark with Appliance Factory Fine Lines, and I'm here at the flagship Appliance Factory Mattress Kingdom store, and I'm going to be unboxing a refrigerator. I've never done this before. I've had appliances delivered to my house, and when they're professionally delivered, I don't have to worry about the box. That's what the uh, professionals do. They take care of it. They unpackage it, they bring it in, and the appliances are perfectly delivered. So this is kind of a new experience for me. So let's talk about the refrigerator I have here. It's a Samsung French door bottom freezer, and it is model number RF28R721DT. I have no idea what any of that means. So as we open this up, we'll see. Is it stainless steel? Is it black stainless? I don't know, I'd probably guess, but we don't have to. We're gonna open this up. So I got my trusty scissors here, and it looks like the first thing I'm gonna do is cut these four straps on the side. And we're gonna cut those, and I think we can just lift the top off, and then we're gonna do something called deluxing, and that's something we do here in the showroom, which is taking out all of the packaging, all the factory packaging, and there's a lot of it. And a little kind of a funny story, I had a, a refrigerator delivered to my house, and a year and a half later, I found a little piece of protective film on one of the panels that had been there the whole time. It's important that you get all that off because if that sits there for a long, long time and it dries out, it's virtually impossible to get off. And then you have that cracked look. Also, sometimes I've heard from uh, some of my colleagues who work in customer service, people will say, I ordered a stainless steel refrigerator and this refrigerator is blue. Well, that's that protective film that covers things. So keep in mind that there's lots and lots of protective film on these things. So unboxing a refrigerator is, is a pretty daunting task. Let's get to work. All right, you can see here the box clearly says side, front, back, so you know what side of the refrigerator you're working with. If you're gonna be moving one of these with, with a dolly, you wanna move it from the back so that if there is any, any denting, it's happening to the sheet metal and not the, the nice stainless steel. Um, also, be careful uh, if you're tilting these on the side, you wanna have them stand upright for at least 24 hours before you plug them in because the, apparently the oil in the compressor can leak and it needs to leak back. I don't know the technical reasons. All I know is you wanna make sure that the thing is upright at least 24 hours before you plug it in. All right, this is gonna be really satisfying. All right, that was fun. Next step, let's get this lid off. Never, I never get tired of playing with boxes. All right, we got the box off, and this is cool. This is the new Tuscan color by Samsung. We've been waiting for this to come into the showroom, and I get to unbox it. That's pretty cool. This is a beautiful finish. Look at this. It's not quite black stainless. Black stainless is far darker than this. Oh. Beautiful color. Look at that. I think sometimes black stainless can be a little bit too dark, particularly if you have darker countertops. I think black stainless looks beautiful if you have white counters, white cabinets, white backsplash. This is a lighter color and it looks much closer to the stainless steel. So this is the new Tuscan and it's here at Appliance Factory and I get to unbox it. I'm the first one to see it. Gorgeous. All right. Necessarily feel like an There's a little stickiness to it. I have a feeling it's gonna hold out my friction. And like I said, if you don't get all of this off, you'd be surprised at how it can really, really come start to crack, and then it's almost impossible to get off. Okay, here's another one. This is immensely satisfying to take off. It's, well, it's kind of like popping bubble wrap, but ten times better. So, I don't know if there's a method to this, but I can see the grain of the stainless steel is running across. So I'm pulling the uh, protective covering off in that same manner. I don't know if that matters, but to me, it makes like the best sense. This is what I prefer, this is what I have at home. What I like about the extra drawer 
is that oftentimes you can set different temperatures. Um, I use mine for all my meats. I put all my meats in that one drawer and that, pardon me, that way I know everything's in the same place. It feels a little bit more sanitary for, for me. Uh, let's take a look here. Okay, up this foam here. And lots of tape. Actually, you have to lift the tray up to get that tape off. Okay. And this looks like it's just to keep this door from sliding open and bouncing around. And, oh, I see some more tape. Three or four more pieces. There we go. This tray, I think it's going to be beneficial if I can take most of the way out. Okay, so this is really cool. I've got this here. Is this knob? I can turn this knob, and I can move this anywhere and section off with all flexible. We have meats in one place, cheeses, deli, and then as things come and go, I can move this. But of course, it's all taped in place, and that's going to keep it from bouncing around. I'm actually going to leave that in there for now, just because I'm going to be moving this refrigerator from where I'm unpacking it. And but this works beautifully. It's exclusive to Samsung. They do a great job with that. Oh, when you get it right and you get it one piece, that's awesome. Okay. We got colors really coming out. You can see the difference between where the plastic is, it's really glossy. When you take it off, it's got a, a flatter finish. It, it even feels like regular stainless. Sometimes black stainless has got, um, it's like a paint they put on there almost. And it feels uh, completely smooth. This you can feel the grain. I think it's integrated into the finish. Really nice. Okay. It's pretty cool, right? Like this and this. This is still my favorite piece here foam. You know some engineer is sitting here like designing this, sitting at his computer, 3D modeling this piece of foam. They did a good job, thank you. Okay, here's the, here's the interior. Looks like I have some drawers up here. I've got, oh what's this? This looks, oh, handles, okay. The handles get attached to studs which are going to have to be pushed into the refrigerator, ready to okay. Alright, so this is where, this is, this is where it can get a little tedious. So I noticed when I bought my own fridge, things like this right here. See how you actually have to take the drawer out and it's like a little piece of of protective covering there and then back here as well and my recommendation is to check all the sides really really make sure that you got it all off yeah here is the owner's manual everything you want to know of course this has got the wi-fi so um you can hook it up to your phone and it'll tell you how your refrigerator temperature is doing uh, alert you if there's going to be any future problems. Uh, some of the Samsung, and Samsung of course um, famously developed that refrigerator that had a couple cameras on the inside. They still have that on the family hub. And you can go to your phone and you can check to see what's inside your refrigerator. That's pretty cool. It seemed a little gimmick, gimmicky to me at first, but I've, I've met many customers who have it and universally they love it. Alright, there's a big old piece here. Okay. And some energy guide data right here. I'm actually going to leave that in the fridge because this is going to sit on our, our showroom floor. Here's my handles. Handles are that same beautiful color. I'll set those here for now. We'll have to figure out how to install those. I'm pretty mechanical, I bet we can figure it out. There's a little tiny piece of protective film here. 
This door, this, this shelf is actually a shelf and shelf. You slide back. But I can't slide it back until you remove the pieces of tape. That was one of the things on my home refrigerator I had for almost a year before I discovered that. Another common place, oftentimes these drawers down here are spill proof. That means they have like a little bit of a lip on them and they should slide out. Oh, I just found a couple more pieces of tape back there. Right? So if you plug your refrigerator in, they recommend that you keep it plugged in with no food for 24 hours. 24 to 36 hours to make sure it gets down to temperature before we start adding food. So maybe that doesn't slide out because I keep adding glue tape and I think that's all that it has. But um, what will happen is you're excited to get your new fridge, you jam it full of food with all this tape in there and you might be missing out on some of the cool features. I know because I did it myself. Okay. Looks like we have drawers that are going to go here and here because the ice maker is here. It looks like there's a couple really, really small, kind of interestingly shaped cabinets, or drawers rather. You know, now that I'm in here and I'm really getting into the, the deep unpacking, it's not excessive amounts of packaging. I know we don't want to be wasting plastic, you know, a lot of us, you know, we have, you know, we have one earth and we don't want to necessarily have to think about, like, all this, this waste, but I gotta tell you, I think Samsung's done a very, very good job of using the right amount of plastic. It's enough to keep things tight uh, without being excessive, you know. This pile down here for this whole giant refrigerator is about that. Okay. So look how beautiful that door fits. I love that. They've done a good job, uh, and I've just kind of realized it looks like this is this side, and this is that side. This is anything, which is smart. Okay, got it all off. Kind of set it in there. There's a knob, there's a tab there, and then there's a slot there. Just kind of line it up. That other one went in so easily. Let's see here. Yeah, look at that. Okay, I think that's wide enough. Like, maybe not a soda bottle. So you can get like a whole soda, but you definitely can put your mustard and your condiments. This tall top one, Ugh. much bigger. And it's got that same tab. So there's a tab here, tab here, tab here. And there's a slot here, and there's a slot here. Here's the ice machine. So the way this one works is the ice, the ice gets made, it gets filtered into this, and then when you go ahead and hit it through the door, of course you get your ice through the door, but it looks like I'd be willing to bet that this is a much higher capacity than some of those slim ice makers. I have a slim ice maker at home. The pros to that is that you pick up a little bit of extra space, you don't have this. Cons is that if you're a big ice family, it's just not gonna keep up. Um, you know, it's really just me, so I don't have a problem keeping up with ice and, you know, I just buy an extra bag of ice and throw it in the freezer. But if you're an ice fan, if you love ice, this is definitely a feature. Keeping in mind, you're losing a little bit of capacity, but it's probably the same amount of capacity as the size of a bag of ice, maybe even a little smaller. Um, so you just kind of have to ask yourself what is the priority. Um, me, I'm not a big ice guy, so no problems. Okay. So it looks to me, that's not level. So it looks like there's two different slots here. It looks like there's high and low. I'm gonna go right there. Okay, gorgeous. Look how beautiful that looks. All right, now for the, now for the other side. That's a big drawer. It gives you a couple different slots. You can go here or here, and then here or here, here or here. So that's cool. And these are big enough gallon of milk in the door. I know there's been some research that shows like putting a gallon of milk in the door isn't the safest place to put it because it's a little warmer against the door. Honestly, uh, you know, if you're stretching the, the date, 
you know, you buy milk on a Monday, it's Saturday, and you're still drinking it, uh, yeah, put it in the back of the fridge. But if you got kids and they're plowing through milk, you know, gallon every day or two, then I think in the door it's gonna be just fine. I don't think it's really gonna make a, make a difference. Um, I don't drink a ton of milk, but I keep my dairy in the fridge just because it's so much taller. Um, this has a nice amount of space up here, but I think you'd be surprised getting a gallon in there. It probably just barely fits. Probably even scrapes the top a little bit. Okay, so it's that same tabs, slots. I think I'm gonna go way up there. Of course, you can change that in the future, but I like that. And I'm gonna move this one up. And if this were my refrigerator at home, I'd wanna put my gallon of milk right there. It would just fit perfectly, bam, okay. Look at that, we're getting there. This is looking beautiful. I'm gonna close the doors again. Let's admire that color. Gorgeous. But let's check out some of the features of the interior of this before we move on to the handles. Um, a humidity control, high and low in both drawers. Each drawer has that. And that's important because if you're putting vegetables like uh, zucchini peppers, you want a little bit broccoli, you want a little bit more humidity, uh, you can turn it there. And uh, if you're doing some spinach, I like to keep my spinach, some of my leaf greens, a little on the drier side. So, um, it, and you know, it's interesting, these things actually do their job. They do them as, as uh, subscribed. So use, use that as a feature. It's got a lock down here. I'm not sure what this is gonna lock. Oh, this is the, uh, I don't know what that is. I bet that's where the water filter goes, right here. Let's see. Yeah. I'm gonna get that a pool. Yep, here's a water filter. That's pretty cool. Right, Samsung water filter. Okay. Cool. It looks like it's pre-installed. That's good. I've seen in the past where you've had to go to the trouble to go get one and put it in. So, pre-installed. Let's see if I can get it back. Wow, okay, that was really easy to take in and out. And then here are the side controls, okay? So over here, here's the flex zone. Flex zone is this drawer here. I'm gonna move out of the way so you guys can see. I know it might be a little dark, but here's the fridge. You can set the temperature, flex zone, down here. So I have a similar refrigerator and I set my, my uh, third drawer here uh, for lower temperature, put all my meats in that, meats and cheeses. Um, it's got an ice maker uh, button. I'm not sure what that does. Um, also, ice water. Uh, it looks like you can lock that, and then you can set the door alarm as well. So all that stuff is right here. Uh, that's a good place for it. I've seen it here in the past, and that's a good place for it as well. But of course, if you lean on it, um, your settings can get changed without your knowledge. So I like that that's there. What else do we have in here? Twin Cooling Plus. Um, so oftentimes it's one compressor, but two evaporators, one for the freezer, one for the refrigerator. Uh, that helps uh, reduce things like odor between the two of them, makes it run more efficiently. What I love about a French door, more than anything, as far as efficiency goes, is how when you open up the bottom freezer, um, the food really stays put. Um, just because um, it's got the, um, it's a well, right? So you can see in this well, all of that cold air is going to stay put. Uh, of course, the top freezer, when you open the door, cold air is going to come rushing out. Let's see what else we got here. Okay. Just checking for any more of that tape. I'm going to leave that in there. It's looking good. Oh, this is interesting. Check this out. So this bottom freezer, when you pull the handle, it looks like both of these sides pop open breaking the seal, allowing the door to open much easier. It's a pretty cool feature. We usually typically only see that in really, really high-end refrigerators. Okay, let's move on to the handles here. Okay, all right, and here we go. Here's these studs, okay. So of course, you want to be very careful that you don't cross-thread these. So, well, I'm just gonna put them in really nice and kind of loose initially, and they go in smoothly. They really do. That's good. Yeah, they just pop on just perfectly. Okay. I don't think you need to put them on gorilla tight. 
I'm just gonna put them on hand tight for now. Yeah. Good. 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 And then in the packaging here, there's an Allen wrench. Looks like this Allen wrench is for actually installing the handles. A couple shims here. Hmm, not sure what these are for. All right. I'm gonna have to read the directions. Okay. This side up. So I, it appears that every one of these is identical, but I don't know. And there's the hole for install here. Okay, so there's only one of them. So this side up, and it looks like you place it on the fridge. Here's the post, and you pull down, give it a good amount of force. And then I imagine you want this screw on the inside. I'm just going to rough these in to make sure they're in the right place. Okay, you know what? I think that this is just fine. You know what? I don't think they're all the same. Let's see, let's see here. Ooh, here we go. Left, upper. Left, upper. Okay. Right upper. So it's a two-part process. I'm going to put the bottom in. I'm going to push down. I'm going to have the top in the place. Give that a little bit of pressure, downward pressure. See how it's still loose? That's when you go ahead with your Allen wrench. I'm just going to tighten that top set screw. And see how nice and flush that sits? And that's on there tight. That's not going anywhere. Here we go. So the bottom is pushed in. And then the top, I'm just going to give that a nice little turn. And of course, here's a little sticker we've got to take off as well, right? That would be unsightly if you didn't remove that. Left, upper. Wow, that was really easy. That looks a little intimidating, to be honest with you. But it looks like after having deluxed this whole exterior to make a mistake installing the handle. Look how beautiful that handle is. Got a little bell hole right there. You can see how really nice it is. And what I like about this handle is how far away from the door it is. These handles sometimes can be hard to keep clean. Just, you know, your hands are kind of gross and you grab the handle. Uh, if they're really, really close, you'll see that you get a lot of kind of debris right there. So it's really a very nice looking handle. It's really pretty. Let's go ahead and move on. Let's get the next two handles on. This door's got that too. See how that pops open? All right, let's see. look at that. That's cool. You know what, look at that. That's the solution I was looking for. That's gonna make that much easier to ratchet down for the next one, once they get it started. Oh, that's beautiful. Of course, we've gotta move the sticker. So, lesson learned here top handles are different than the bottom handles. Okay, here we are, last handle. This face, this side up, yes sir. Okay. Oh. Oh, that, what I love about that handle, when you get a pull on it, is how it swings up and out. It just makes opening that door feel like an event. Mm. Okay. There it is. Okay, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna leave it on that foam base for now. Then we're gonna have a technician move it to its new home in our showroom. When you swing by any of our Front Range, Colorado, Appliance Factory, uh, Mattress Kingdom locations, to see the new Tuscan Samsung color is absolutely gorgeous. I really, really like this. I'm sure we're gonna be seeing this with matching dishwasher, microwave, probably the range, all that good stuff. But there it is, it's really beautiful. It's a great unit. I think if you got a big family, it's gonna hold everything you need. Really, really is pretty. So, I get to clean up this mess, and then I'm gonna get back to cooking, doing what I do best. 
So thanks for tuning in. This is Chef Mark with Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom. I want you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got all kinds of great stuff. Of course, I'm always out there with the cooking tips. We've got the Mattress King. He's the mattress expert. You're gonna check out some of his amazing videos. Subscribe to our channel because we got all the information that you wanna know. And you can send your questions in too. You can send your questions to me, dialchefmark at gmail.com. I'll respond in video form. So please like and subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.